<laughs> every empire, day seven, every empire rises and falls. And this was a point our brave conquistador started to go their separate ways. Three Doha boys caught an early flight from an airport on the mainland to Antilarivo. Connor yeah, Copeland. The three arsonists. Flight. Yeah, like. Yeah. Um, Connor Copeland in particular had struggled with the long bumpy journey with a painful shoulder with a painful shoulder following the dislocation he suffered early in the rugby match. So spared himself the 12 hour road trip back to Antelarivo. This seemed like a daunting journey, but spirits were high on the boat and a spontaneous court session occurred on the bus with regular stops for more beer. We even stopped for some dinner, which included our junior members, Charles and Harry, having a rice eating contest with no hands. <laughs> in 31 years of playing rugby, this was both the longest and best bus trip I can remember. And it did, and it ended with us falling into a hotel near the airport in the early hours. Day eight, Freddie, our French liaison, 